Grading company Forensic Card Grading, FCG, which has been in business for about 18 months, was robbed the other night when a single intruder entered the business using a crowbar and stole around 20 customer orders. The most valuable card being a 1986-87 Fleer Michael Jordan rookie card. Here is a picture of the business just before FCG moved in. Again, this business is located in South Lake, Texas. Police were contacted. We are working on getting a police report from the incident. If and when we do get one, we will make that public for everybody. Customers were contacted. Insurance was contacted. Local card shops and pawn shops were also alerted of the robbery. In an email to customers, though, that were impacted, FCG said, quote, I'm asking that you please refrain from posting anything that could negatively impact the investigation. I talked to FCG this morning and I asked them about, you know, hey, why do you want to keep this kind of quiet? He said he hopes that the person who stole the items will try to sell them, but if too much information gets out, perhaps he will try to get rid of the cards more discreetly. Just from talking to him though, I also get the sense that he doesn't want this to get out because it could negatively impact his business. Again, that's a personal opinion of mine. First and foremost, it sucks being robbed. I owned a card shop for many years and we got robbed two or three different times. I think Colin chased somebody down the street one time and almost socked him in the head. We got robbed on Black Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. I mean, what a nightmare that is. I feel for FCG. I feel for any card shops that's been robbed. I mean, it's just an absolute nightmare, especially this time of year or really any time, frankly. I personally think that holding back any information won't help find these cards though. And it also won't help find the person who did this. The more people who know about this, the more people who know about the cards that were stolen, perhaps some of them that have very unique serial numbers, you know, these cards might be able to be tracked down and the person who did this might be able to be tracked down. But for now, this is all we got. We are in touch with South Lake Police Department. If they have any more information, we will be sure to pass that along to you. If any customers that were impacted by this want to reach out to Sports Card Radio and perhaps get some information out about some of the cards that were impacted, you can do so. Stay safe, guys. Lock up your card shops. Lock up your grading companies. People are after them, especially this time of year. Keep stuff locked up, keep your businesses safe, and we'll see you soon here at Sports Car Radio.